Hi everyone, and welcome to Two for Tuesday, where I take one ingredient and use it for two reasons. My name is Sarah Manaresi, and welcome to my kitchen. This week we're working with tomatoes because it is coming up on when it's becoming in season, and we just recently planted our vegetable garden. Um, it doesn't matter. This this dish is actually delicious all throughout the year, but I prefer it, especially when tomatoes are actually in season. So, um, what I have here is I have a couple cups of diced cherry tomatoes. I think this was actually a mix of like little small cocktail ones, grape tomatoes, and cherry tomatoes. And I really like using the variety because it just looks so pretty. Lots and lots of different colors. I'm gonna add that to the bowl. And then I have about three tablespoons of chopped parsley. And this is where it gets fun. You can either add capers or olives or both or neither or whatever. And what I kind of like about this dish a lot is that um, like my kids don't like these two ingredients. And so, you know, you can kind of do your own, build your own kind of thing. So I'll make a base for it and then everybody can add in the toppings that they like. And I'm going to add some freshly ground black pepper and some salt. Now with the salt, you have to be careful because if you are going to be adding capers and olives, you probably don't need a whole lot of that because these are salty enough. But knowing my kids, they will not be having those. So I do like to lightly season it in advance a little bit. And then you just kind of stir that together. Now what's really nice is that um, you can stop here and this can also just be done with a salad. So you don't have to add pasta or anything like it. What I've done is I've taken about six tablespoons of olive oil, brought it up, I made it hot, heated it up, that's the word we're looking for, and a bunch of cloves of garlic, because I like a lot of garlic. And you can just take this and put it on um, a couple cups of spinach. I mean, this is meant for like a lot of people, so you can make it smaller for just you. Um, Put on some spinach, add some capers and olives and the tomato and parsley, um, add some chicken, makes a great quick lunch. But what we're gonna do for my family tonight is we're going to make it into a pasta dish. So I let this um, garlic go until a, right about golden brown and then I remove it from the heat and it kind of browns on its own. And then I have my pasta here. now. You can use any kind of pasta you want, but I do suggest possibly using a little bit hardier than, you know, don't use angel hair because this, um, you don't want it to break as you're tossing it. And I just add a little bit of this in the pot at a time. Yes, I know you can get a nice big pasta bowl and do this, but personally, I find that I make a ginormous mess and no one likes a mess. So I just use just a regular pot and I just start adding a little bit at a time and tossing so that it all kind of gets a moment to um, evenly get that light dressing that we're putting on it. And you know, it sounds like it's a lot of olive oil, but really this is for an entire pound of pasta. And again, you can add chicken to it if you want to have some things, but this is the sauce. It's not going to be, uh, we're not going to add, you know, like a tomato sauce on top of this. So really it's very light and good for you oil. And then you just continue to do this for a while until you get through the whole thing. It won't bore you with that. And then all you do is you put in some delicious feta cheese. Now, you can use four ounces. This really is six. My family loves feta, so I'll probably put the whole thing in. And you toss that and it kind of melts a little bit. And then what I'll do is I will add the tomatoes and parsley in. And then we have dinner. And then what I like to do is just individually serve up in individual bowls and then everyone can add the toppings that they like. So I hope this becomes a family favorite of yours. I know it's one of ours. Hope you're having a great evening and I will talk to you later. Bye!